Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Next War Poland. This is the second edition. This is the not just a second printing, it is the second edition. It contains some errata and some updated counters. The time is tomorrow, but the time is now that we're going to open this up. This is from GMT Games, uh, designed by Mitchell Land and Gene Billingsley, the G in GMT Games. So let's crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. I do believe this is the first unboxing I've done of a Next War series. I'll have to check on that. But let's get started here. It's uh, it comes in a you know a standard size uh, GMT box, about two inches thick. It's still pretty heavy though. All right, here we go. All right, so we've got the game-specific rules and scenarios. This is about 36 pages. And this is interesting. This is a, this is an amalgamum. Is that the right word? No, this is a kind of a combination of their latest. So they've kind of gone from their nice matte kind of papery finish to this kind of glossy magazine stock for some games, which is really not good because it reflects a lot of light. This seems to be a compromise between the two. I like it, it's very bright white, but it's still got a matte finish. You can see it doesn't really reflect the light too bad. So that's kind of cool. Um, so this is the game specific. So this is specific to Poland, and then we're gonna have the uh, series rules as well. So um, this is rated um, uh, about an eight for solitaire friendly. I mean, you would be, there's no bod, you a true solo playing both sides. Um, and then the standard complexity is about a five, and the advanced rules, if you add those in, makes it about an eight. So, something to keep in mind. All right, so, new stock, very nice, do like this. So it doesn't, doesn't reflect, but it's very bright and a lot easier to read. So it's kind of a nice, I think they might have actually hit a home run with this, this stock change. So as with most GMT games, you've got the uh, outlined order of uh, of, uh, or indexing of the rules You're in full color yeah it really 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 pops here so so again this is the specifics uh, rules for uh, next war Poland detection isolation supply air power theater warfare assets theater that's the word I was looking for before when I said additions and then we've got you know, you only go up to page 16, 17, 16 and a half with the rules, and then you get some optional rules that can be thrown in. And then we get to our scenarios. And we have standard scenarios. One, just a walkie gap. Red Storm, the Baltic Invasion. This scenario is most useful as a solitude scenario, as it's particularly brutal on the Allies given current NATO doctrine and policy. Scenario 3, Operation Arctic Storm. The primary purpose of this is to learn the rules for airborne air mobile. Looks like it's guiding you through. So there's nothing noted here about the first scenario being kind of a tutorial scenario. But then you get to the later, the second and third, they do kind of highlight. And then we've got uh, Scenario 4, Siege of Warsaw, Scenario 5, Defense of the Baltics. A lot of scenarios here, it's kind of cool. Six, take the line. So we've got six scenarios and then they've got advanced scenarios as well. With some advanced rules. Put the advanced rules in there and then we actually have scenarios here. Oh, these are, these are not rules. These are actually the scenarios. It's just kind of like organized slightly different here. So we've got five or six of the advanced scenarios as well. All right. So you'll get more out of that. And then we got one page here of designer notes. Second edition design notes. Much has been said recently about the current war in Ukraine and how it might affect the betrayal of Russians in Next War Poland 2nd Edition. The answer is complex. Primarily, it's really just too soon to make broad judgments about Russian performance. They were clearly intelligence failures and miss or lack of communication, which led directly to lack of preparation, coordination, and effectiveness. 
What we're seeing in game terms is a war where the novice wargamer appears to be playing the Russian side against an experienced veteran. One more thing to remember is that everyone will learn from this and make adaptations for the next war. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so then the standard and advanced series rules, this is for if you already know the next war series and the, and the concepts there, this is the, uh, um, or if you don't know that, then this is gonna guide you through that. Now this is a much bigger book, about 48 pages. Same stock, full color and just goes over all the rules of the game. Now they promise this is not very complex. Let's say the standard rules go through page 22, and then the advanced rules go to about 43, from 23 to 43, another 20 pages of rules, and then the nation nationality identification chart and an index. So it's nice that they do add the index, you know, reference to look up stuff. So, or key, rule of locations that you need to find. So this is very dense. There's a lot of text, not a lot of graphics. I mean there's a few sprinkled in here or there as you see. So settle down with a cup of cup of coffee, glass of iced tea, or lemon water if you prefer. Alright, and then we've got our map. This is a paper map. Well, let's see what we got here. We got a sub map here. That shows um, Rotland, Bornholm, Islands. So we've got just a just a small little eight and a half by eleven map sheet, and then we've got what I guess is the full map here. Well, this is a piece of a map. Okay. Interesting. This is a four by one. A uh, little fold out, as you see there. And it looks like it's gonna attach at the top. You can see it kind of just flows off the edge there. Wow, so this is gonna take up a lot of space, I would guess. We've got a full map in here somewhere. All right, now we've got a map section, or a, a playing area, you know, a uh, control board, and it looks like part of a map is on here as well. Okay, Let's zoom out on this. So this is a this is a four by two, you know, standard eight and a half by eleven. A little fold out like a overview map of control areas: Latvia, Bornholm, Poland, Estonia. You know, tracking charts, general records track, uh, air superiority, air defense. So a lot of your tracking boards are on this. Now, is this a map? Let's see if this is a map. This may be a map. So again, a paper map. I don't think, unfortunately, they're, you know, they are paper, so you'll have to try to like have massive plexiglass to cover it. But here we've got what appears to be the map because it's got edges on all four sides except that area where it's connecting to that fold out map. So this is the map of Poland proper. It's got a glossy finish, but uh, yeah, doing this, doing this multi jigsaw puzzle kind of map thing is, uh, yeah, it's single sided, is gonna make it uh, a little difficult to be mounted, I would think. Nice large hexes, very clearly defined, functional. Not a lot of, you know, realistic 3D effects going on to kind of complicate things. All right. So that one did not look like it connected. So, all right. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And so then we've got some counter sheets here. Got uh, five, it looks like. These appear to be half inch counters. Yeah, they are half inch counters. So this is sheet one. Just a lot of stuff, a lot of NATO symbols, um, you know, all the settings, the names. GMT does a great job though. I mean, you usually rarely see misprinted counters. I mean, misprinted in the sense that they're off center or stuff like that. So these look really good. These are the kinds you want to punch yourself. 
uh, and uh, you'll want to round them with an organ laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the right tool for the job. They should start paying me for that. <clears throat> Second sheet. Got some helicopters, other markers. There's just too many here to go. So we have Germany and marked. Lithuania is in blue. Uh, this one did not tell us who Brown was. Uh, Russia, since they've got the pair drop limit there. So we've got the Russian counters. We've got some Polish counters here. France. Italy, Netherlands, Spain. So like World War Three. Everybody's involved. Sheet three, more Russians, the US Navy, the United States Marine Corps, they're getting on the action, Belarus, is that on the action? Sheet four, we've got some markers, a few more counters here, some replacement counters, we've got Belgium, Canada. And obviously some markers here. And finally more markers. Strike out of supply, targeting, interdiction strikes, destroyed mines, tactical nukes, goodness gracious, detection. All right, five sheets of counters. Still there's more. All right, we have the NATO and US setup card. They set up U.S. reinforcement schedule, NATO reinforcement schedule. Again, this is the you know this is GMT, but it's it's a nicer it's a nicer finish. It's, it's I don't know how to describe it. It's because their their uh, their reference cards have always been well done, and this is just still seems like a like a definite step up. All right, then we get the standard game sequence of play. Advanced Game Air Defense Resolution. Next we'll pull in the Advanced Sequence of Play. These are all single-sided cards. I mean, single uh, single page cards, and not the portfolio fold. And there's the Advanced Sequence of Play, wow. Okay. Remember that's, learn the basic first, standard first. Then we got a Terrain Effects Chart, Combat Results Table. Got two of those, one for each player. We got our standard and advanced game tables. Just one of those. Para drop, clearing operations, mine clearing, bridge repair, and HQ bridge construction, contestancy movements. Standard game air defense fire, standard game air points. And then we have the strike effects table. Transition to from operational map to strategic display. So the operational map must be the bigger one, and the strategic display, or the operational map is the is the drilled in one, and the strategic strategic display is that overview map. And then we have the advanced game tables, special operations forces CRT. Now this is the portfolio fold, double wide. Advanced detection, advanced air combat, advanced strike, advanced air defense fire. Advanced interdiction, electric detect, electronic detection, deliberate damage, repair, collateral damage, automatic damage. There's a lot of stuff in this box. So the advanced game tables we do have two copies of. So that's interesting. They give you two of those, one for each player, but they only give you one of these standard and advanced game tables sheet. And then we're down to the bottom. Got our nice black and white graphics as a standard and one little one little ten-sided die. And it works. And we score to six. So, if you pick up a copy of Next War Poland, the second edition, not the second printing, second edition, you're going to get that one die. That is ten that time, or zero. You're going to get two copies of the double width advanced game tables charts. You're going to get one copy of the strike effects tables and the reference chart. One copy of the standard and advanced game tables chart. Two copies of the command, oh, excuse me, the combat results terrain effects chart. One for each player. One copy of the advanced sequence of play reference. One copy of the standard game sequence of play reference along with the advanced game air defense resolution. 
NATO and US setup charts and the reinforcement schedules. Five sheets of half inch counters and markers. You're gonna get three, you're gonna get one large map. You're gonna get a small add-on map to go at the top. And you're gonna get the overview strategic map and tracking charts. And you're gonna get the small island map, which is just one page. You're gonna get the 60, uh, excuse me, the 48 page standard and advanced series rule book. The 36 page game specific rules and scenarios book. And that is everything in Next War Poland, the second edition from GMT Games. Designed by Mitchell Land and Gene Billingsley. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!